1846, a group of pioneers set out on a journey to find the promise of a better life in California. But what started out as a hopeful journey turned into a nightmare of hunger, desperation, and death. Little did they know, their optimism and hope would soon turn into a brutal fight for survival, leading to one of the most chilling tales of tragedy and cannibalism in American history. This is the story of the Donner Party. My name is Ethan, also known as Mr. Shadows, and today we will be talking about the Donner Party. Let's start at the beginning. The Donner Party was led by George Donner, a successful farmer from Illinois. He had a dream of settling in California and started recruiting people to join him on the journey. At the time, California was seen as a land of opportunity. With vast expanses of fertile land and a mild climate that promised a better life for those willing to take the risks of traveling westward. In addition to the prospect of land and riches, California was also considered a place of health and healing. With its fresh air and sunshine, people believed to be beneficial for those suffering from respiratory illnesses like tuberculosis. California was also seen as a place for great wealth as the gold rush was beginning to take place. This influenced the Donner Party to move there. Hey everyone, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. <laughs> By the time they set out in the spring of 1846, the group consisted of 87 people, including 23 children. The plan was to follow the Oregon Trail to Fort Bridger, then take a new route called the Hastings Cutoff, which promised to save them time and avoid some of the more difficult terrain. But the cutoff turned out to be a disaster. It was poorly marked and led the party into a rugged, mountainous, region in present day Utah and Nevada. The Donner Party encountered numerous obstacles along the way. They had to cross rivers, climb steep hills, and navigate through the dense forests. But the real trouble began when they reached the Sierra Nevada mountain range in October. The party was trapped by heavy snowfall and couldn't continue their journey. They were stuck in the mountains for months with no food, no shelter, and no way to call for help. To survive, the party resorted to extreme measures. They ate their horses at first, their dogs, and even the leather from their shoes. Some members died of starvation, while others succumbed to disease and exposure to the elements. One of the most tragic aspects of the Donner Party story is the way it tested the bonds of family and friendship. People who had started out as friends turned on each other in their desperation for food. Parents were forced to watch their children starve and siblings had to decide whether to sacrifice themselves for the rest of their family. Eventually, a small group of survivors managed to make it out of the mountains and get help, but by that point, dozens of people had already died. In total, the Donner Party lost 41 of its 83 members. Today, there are monuments and memorials throughout the West that commemorate the tragedy of the Donner Party. The story has become a cautionary tale about the dangers of the frontier and the importance of preparation and resilience. But it's also a story about the human spirit and the lengths that they would go, that people would go just to survive in the face of unimaginable hardship. The Donner Party may have suffered a terrible fate, but their story lives on as a testament to the endurance 
and bravery of the American pioneers. Now let's go and take a look at some first-hand experiences from some of these pioneers and their stories.